Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We have Juliet Mitchell, pure girl in a toxic world right here. How are you, honey? I'm good, honey. How are you? So, so good to see you. So, Juliet, let me just give you a little introduction of her. First of all, she's an extraordinary woman. Look at this outfit and our matching bracelets. I saw that. Yes. Yes. Cool that? Um, so, Juliet is a best-selling author. She, her story is amazing. She had cancer and has over, well, you know, overcome it through purity. You're Harvard educated. Right? I mean, like, what's up? Like, you're an advanced divine spiritual being, goddess yes. over here. Yes, and you're helping me be even more. Yes, <laughs> and she's a Soul Society ambassador officially, yeah. so congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. So what brings you here today? We celebrate you every single day. Oh, well, thank you so much. So what brings me here today is I'm doing an event, a keynote speaking event um, for All Women's Rock. Um, he, uh, Carl, who couldn't be here today, puts on these events all across the United States. And the focus is really to honor women. It's about women empowerment and women that do really well in their field. And it's kind of like a ceremony where he even focuses on young children that are doing extraordinary things in the community. And they come up on stage and he gives them awards. And it's just, it's just, it's amazing. And that's one of the things that has drawn me to his events. Not just that it's all about like focusing on women and honoring women that have done, you know, exceptionally well in their field. And it can be, it can be the top hairdresser in, in LA, or it could be the top hairdresser in San Diego, or it could be top real estate agent. He just goes in and he focuses on that. But one thing that I love is that he brings um, young girls who are doing charity mm -hmm. in their community and he comes up and he honors them. And I think that's, for me, that's a part of the all women rock movement that has really touched me because I don't think sometimes our youth gets that kind of extra affirmation, like good job to kind of keep them going and inspiring them to go farther with their dreams. So true. So, so today we're talking a lot about beauty from the inside out and it's a perfect day for you to be here because it's really what you teach, knowing that beauty is health, beauty is vibrancy, beauty is all that and you teach people how to change their lifestyle, eat well, and we of course, we know it has to deal with the mind first, which we right. are working on for totally. with, uh, together around all that, and taking it into their diet. How did you heal? How did you do that? I healed. Well, you know what? I, I, I'm just going to be because I'm kind of a full disclosure disclosure girl. Um, I did have a tiny little mini face ah. tuck after the cancer. Thank you um, for being so real and raw. I think well, so many women will never yeah. ever talk about stuff. No, I just I I feel like. Once I decided to be on this journey, if I couldn't live my truth, talk my truth, mm. be my truth, then how am I being authentic to the woman that has had cancer or the man that has cancer? Mm -hmm. um, if I just look a certain way, they're gonna be like, well, I had cancer and I didn't look like that. Well, yeah, because I did a tiny little mini facelift right here because they took all my hormones. I had a full hysterectomy and literally within a year of that, I look 10 years younger. Mm. Oops, bracelet, anyone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so because of that, I thought, you know what? I feel so good after the cancer from cleansing and, and, and detoxing my body. I just looked in the mirror and I didn't look the same. Wow. And I thought the insides are not matching the outsides. And it's so true. There's been a study done that if you look, feel like you look good, mm -hmm. you actually live five to seven years longer. Wow. So that's, you know, I'm like, get rid of that Let's chain. do it all. Let's yeah. do the mindset, yeah. you know, let's do the diet, yeah. let's do the outside, let's yeah. do it all. And for me, um, you know, fillers work for some people, but for me, because I live a, a pure life, I did my own fat. I They fat grafted my own fat and put some in my cheeks. And oh. um, I love that because it's my own natural body, but I'm sorry, I just wanted to talk about that. No, I, 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 I really <laughs> so admire great. your vulnerability yeah. and sharing your yeah. truth and life in that because yeah. walking in your purpose, pure girl in a toxic yeah. world, people might hesitate or people might question or people might shame. Yeah. And there's nothing, there's no room for judgment mm. in, in this world when it's about beauty and light, whatever makes you be the best Juliet so you can serve the world. Yeah, and, and I've had a lot of women, since I've sh shared this on my blog, a lot of women that have had cancer that said thank you because now I went to have a little tuck here and I feel so much better. Mm -hmm. And then that produces good feelings and good feelings in the cells. 
And when they feel good and they look good, they're probably going to survive a lot longer. Wow. Hey, it's like yeah. you, you give them permission, whether they yeah. choose to. And I think it's scary because I would never, I don't want anyone to feel like they have to do it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. So where do you, where's that line for people? You were just saying, yes, 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 right? Right, right, right. right. And that's just going by. It's not coming for us, which is good. <laughs> but the point is, I think that we need to give permission, talk about it, so that people can find their own truth, for sure. Because totally. people are doing it anyway. It yes. all over, and they're yes. just not talking about it. There's what no talking that, about what it. What does that do? Just makes people feel worse. Yeah. Like something's wrong with me. I, I don't look like that, and I, it's because totally. well, yeah. Was it a hard decision for you, or did you, were you clear that you wanted to do it? Uh, uh, no, it wasn't a hard decision for me because I just felt like, you know, um, I didn't want to do different chemicals in my body. You know, I'm about living a, a, as pure as life as I can live, and for me a little, you know, incision here to lift up the skin that came down after not having any hormones, to me was like, you know, I'm just gonna maybe have a little medicine for 24 hours and then I'll detox my body after surgery and mm -hmm. then I'm good to go. So yeah, I really, and I've had a lot of women reach out to me and say, you know, thank you for t sharing that because right. I actually did it I and I feel so much better. And a lot of women, as a part of my journey, I was, I was going through a divorce when I was diagnosed with cancer. So a lot of women sometimes feel like they're kind of like used up. Like, who wants me after cancer, you know? What guy's gonna want me because, you know, I've had cancer and, you know, it's kind of a risk for me. Mm. So maybe having a little of your own natural fat and doing something that might make you look a little bit better actually, you know, makes them feel like, okay, I can get back in the game. I look good again, yeah. yeah. But you work with women and men one-on-one -on -one to help them do their the diet coaching around yeah. with cancer and other people that don't have cancer. Tell them a little bit about that. How sure. So um, I also do some coaching around um, the cancer. And um, it's it's changed my life. I really, you know, it's my life purpose. I, you know, obviously you know my story. It's like one out of, you know, a half a million people that would have ever survived my type of cancer because it was super crazy aggressive. And so for me, it was my, you know, purpose in life. Like, how does somebody survive this? You know, like, I felt for me, my God was like, I spared your life so that you could help other people. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I always am very clear, I don't have any answers to cancer. I just have what I do to decrease my, you know, for me to get, get it back again, decrease my, my odds of reoccurrence. Mm -hmm. And it's my, it's my journey, I'm sharing my journey. It's, yeah, and yeah. it's my truth. I love so it. what will Absolutely. you be speaking on at the All Girls Rock Conference? Yes. You know, you're a keynote, you mentioned that earlier. Yes. So what's your message? I'm going to speak on the three pillars of health. So which is, you know, you know, like food and all of that and detoxing your body. But now there's this new layer in my soul society is that I really believe that it's mind, body and spirit. So that's like a whole new thing that I'm starting to bring in because I realize on my own journey that I've carried some traumas that I know um, contributed to the cancer and as I heal I need to start to also heal mentally with my thoughts and emotionally that the traumas that I've carried at a cellular level and so it would be being um, kind of a disservice to my audience if I didn't share um, all of the journey it's oh, not just that. one thing yeah. that makes you yeah. sick it's, it's a not holistic just, approach totally and it's a whole approach you know when you're spiritually or physically thinking, it affects different cells and it affects different chemicals in the body. So um, I really feel led to kind of share that part of my journey. So inspiring. Love it. Thank you so much. I love yes, you so love much. You guys Tell so people where they can find you on social media and online. Sure. Um, at Pure Girl in the Toxic World. And you can also find me at Pure Girl in the Toxic World on Facebook and my website. Right. Yes. Yes. Thank, so you, so Thank you so much Thank for having you. me. Thank you.